Hi there, it's Wade McMaster here, and in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the Pix Imperfect website. Now, Pix Imperfect is a popular YouTube channel with uh, Photoshop tutorials and tips, and uh, just one of the best around. It has a massive following and um, is definitely something a channel worth checking out if you're looking to learn Photoshop. Now, I'm going to go onto the website um, because I always like checking out the websites of certain YouTubers, and straight away, I like already, I like the little before and after. Uh, thing we see straight away when we land. It's a really cool little effect that really shows you visually what the site's about. Before you even do any scrolling, you can see the fact these repaired photo, the lighting is greatly improved, and it's just a it's just a very nifty effect, to be honest, and um, something that uh, yeah just visually shows you, okay, look, you can touch up photos, you can bring out colors, sharpen, and even if you look down the right here, remove wrinkles in pages and that sort of thing so straight away you got a nice visual and when you hover over it you can actually do a little bit of back and forth um, so after before very nifty little touch I'm not exactly sure what software was used to do that but it is just a cool little touch that I think uh, works well uh, obviously now if you click the watch now button it takes you off to his YouTube channel we're not going to do that right now but we're going to scroll down um, at the time of releasing this, this video may be a little bit older, but obviously we've got our latest, the latest videos here. So obviously you know the videos he releases on his channel, these are the latest ones. And you can see here straight away even just some of the effects he manages to get. He's very good with his uh, thumbnails because if he's doing some kind of effect, there's a lot of before and after. So a bit of a, a bit of a tip for you guys on doing YouTube or doing any sort of like tutorials, having before and afters can be very powerful for you know creating effects. And uh, this here, I don't think before and after is really needed because of the fact that uh, this is the what the topic is about is creating this nice sort of like two color effect. But uh, it's just a very cool um, yeah tip for YouTube thumbnails. Load more, and of course we get a few more videos sharp there. So pretty cool, pretty handy. Let's just keep on going. Obviously about Pix Imperfect, so a little bit about uh, I think it's in mesh. A little bit about him, what he does, his YouTube. As you can see, 2 million subscribers, so a very uh, popular YouTube channel. Uh, you can become a, Patreon, uh, become a patron over at uh, Patreon. And of course, a form here to get in contact. Now, that's the home page. Now, one thing you might notice is that if I scroll back up top, these highlights we scroll down. So it's actually not a full website, but it's actually a page that scrolls to various sections. I thought that was cool and definitely worth reviewing. Um, sorry, just to sidestep a little bit, the transparency grid I just noticed, which is from Photoshop, is another cool touch. But sorry, back to what I was saying. <laughs> the, uh, the way the navigation just goes to different areas of the site. If you're someone who doesn't want to run a complete blog and comprehensive website and you're more focused on promoting things like a YouTube channel or some other platform, this can be the perfect thing for you because it means you only have to create a one-page website and uh, which is obviously a lot less work. You can connect up an area like this, something like your latest videos, and you can really funnel people through to that platform, yet you still have your own presence there, which is very handy as well. So something to think about too is not all pages, not all websites have to have a ton of pages. You can't have a single page. I've seen this a few times and it works quite well because the majority of the content is on YouTube. And um, one thing I'm going to do, I'm going to click on one of these videos and just see what actually happens. So let's try this one. So this is actually a website that's been built on Wix. So we get this little video pop-up. We'll pause that. And it's just got a an embed of the video and uh, a bit of information here on the right about it. I do believe this uh, is probably just the same as the actual YouTube description. So that's actually really cool, really easy. Um, to sort of follow, uh, just a nice simple use of the content that already exists. And the way you can scroll across to these videos down the bottom here is actually quite cool as well. So uh, you see here we've got more of that before and after effects here. So playing with the lighting, cutting someone out and moving them. But uh, yeah, just very powerful, very easy to follow. And then of course you can hit the arrows here to go from video to video. So if you're actually looking to uh, you know, kind of binge watch some videos, you can do it on his website as well as just uh, simply going through uh, like a YouTube playlist. So that's pretty cool. Now, one thing, if you scroll down, obviously it talks about you know, what, what the channel's about, a little bit about the founder, um, what he's done. Not a hell of a lot, it's actually more to do with the videos he's released, but uh, 
it's become very straightforward. And obviously he's focused a lot on his YouTube channel. And uh, that's pretty much it. You can become a patron. So obviously if I click here and go to Patreon. Okay, and you can see obviously, you know, a nice little banner at the top here. And just a few options. So he's got a thousand patrons. So starting at a dollar ten a month and obviously different levels. Uh, that's obviously the, I guess the, the most obvious form of monetization apart from say YouTube AdSense uh, with obviously you've got here, you know, uh, exclusive videos for patrons. So it's pretty, it's pretty hard to, to really miss it. It's not like a huge, huge thing. He's not really aggressively pushing that uh, Patreon, but it is there and easy to find. So I think that's actually a pretty cool little tip um, and something worth Considering if you're on YouTube, the whole idea of having a smaller website pushing your Patreon page or something like that is uh, actually pretty handy. And we're back to the site, and um, that's look, that's pretty much it uh, for the actual layout. But like I said, we've got this cool visual here which shows the before and after. Um, we've got a link to the YouTube channel, so he's looking to push people to the YouTube channel. So the visual, they're uh, saying master Photoshop, join 800,000 creatives uh, Photoshop for free. It's a very cut to the chase uh, thing. The visual tells a story about what you're learning. Master Photoshop in big letters just further confirms that so you know exactly what you're getting. And then uh, adding the 800,000 creatives is like another social proof where it shows, hey, a lot of people are coming here. So it's a very trusted source of education for Photoshop. So you get that proof that it's actually uh, something that people use. And then obviously learning Photoshop for free, we get to learn that it's for free. Watch now. So. This is a great job of funneling down to the YouTube channel. And even the way it kind of has that little triang triangular effect, intentional or not, kind of points at the button. So you get like this nice little design feature. So this picture in itself is actually incredibly well designed. And even with the background, the Photoshop transparency grid, it actually does a really great job of illustrating what the site's about and funneling to a call to action. So um, there's a lot of a lot in this very simple design that is very powerful. And obviously the video layout, which is all very good. The yellow, I think it's funny because it, it doesn't have any sort of bright colors until you get down there. So it does show you that, hey, this is different. So this is a different section. We get a photo of a mesh. Um, now, it's uh, it sort of tells you a little bit about, I mean, this is the guy we're dealing with. And then when you watch his videos, obviously you get to see him because he's in the videos, but the yellow really stands out because it almost really drags your attention. And the fact that there's not a lot to read makes it less intimidating. And then you've got your two call to actions here. So maybe you've already subscribed and eventually checked out the website. So if you get here and you go, well, this isn't really what I want. Oh, I'm not really interested in this. I'm already doing this. The next step is, oh, support. Oh, I'll check that out. So you've got that secondary option. Whereas if you land here, you might get to subscribe first. And then he's going to be mentioning his Patreon in his videos. Which I'm pretty sure he does. I can't remember despite the fact I've watched a ton of his videos. And then of course the ability to contact him, find him on social media is handy as well. So it's just a very powerful page, simple. It, it tells you what he's about, delivers the content. So once again, tells you what it's about, delivers the content, tells you about it, uh, a little bit more about the channel with some call to actions. And then of course, if you want any more, get in contact. So very simple, very easy. Now I am quite curious about, uh, oh, here we are, Patreon. So this just takes me straight to Patreon. So that's pretty much it. That's the entire website. And it shows you just, you don't have to have a massive website. It's a very well-designed website. So a little bit of effort put into a single page can be quite powerful. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please consider giving it a like. If you want to learn Photoshop, don't forget to check out uh, the Pixin Perfect Photoshop, uh, sorry, YouTube channel. Uh, some really awesome videos, especially for photo editing. Different. I do a little bit of Photoshop on this channel, so also, uh, obviously, if you want more of that, please consider subscribing. But I do. I sort of do more design and uh, different sort of content in Photoshop than what Mesh does. So um, it's a good way to sort of spread out and find out what you what you want from uh, from Photoshop. But uh, yeah. Once again, thanks for watching. I hope to see you again soon, and um, yeah, have a great day.